Guys that have come before us, Jim Nance, Phil Sims, Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, and Gus now, yeah, Gus Johnson. So following those guys, but also getting the experience to see what it's like to develop this game and get to record the number of hours that we've been able to be in studio together. It's been a very rewarding experience. Yeah, it's been fantastic. You know, we're guys that didn't work together before. And to get this opportunity to work for the Madden franchise, and by the way, get well soon, Coach. We know you just had surgery recently. <laughs> get well soon, Coach Madden, and we'll try and maintain the great standards you set for this game. So what does it mean for you guys to actually get to hear yourself in the game? Because now, like, whenever anybody plays Madden, they're also going to be hearing you guys. Yeah, it's crazy. As we've started to develop this game, you play it as you build it. So... At first, you heard a lot of holes in the commentary, and now it's starting to fill in as we get closer and closer to launch. But, you know, I grew up when this game was really starting to grow. I remember racing home with my friends to play this game after school and middle school and high school. So now to be a small part of it on this end, and again, I say a small part of it because as we've seen, there's 250 people yeah. that make this game year-round. So to be a small part of it is something special. Yeah, a real small part of it, yeah. right? But but it's a, it's a great part. To, it's great to be a part of it. And for me, <laughs> I mean, watching my son, who's a high schooler, and his friends play, and now them knowing that I'm going to be a part of it. Street he said, Yeah, street, street cred, <laughs> at least for a little while. He sounds great. I still hate the sound of my own voice. I just hope the people watching the game, playing the game, they don't hate the sound of it. You sneak in any audio clips for your son's version of the game? Like, do your homework. Push down. <laughs> a little subliminal, right? Little, what they call that in the old days with records, backward masking, where you'd hear the, the – that's what I'm trying to do when I get that done. But he did warn us, actually warned me. He said, listen, I don't want to play the game a little while, and then I know what line triggers. There better be a lot of lines in there. So we still have some work to do. And, you know, mentioning that you guys, this is the first time you guys have worked together. How did that work out? How did you guys like, feel comfortable working with each other once you started getting a good rhythm? Man, I'll, I'll say this with him standing here. I'll try not to get emotional. But, no, uh, the moment I met him, he just has some way of making you feel welcome. And I think that the users and the game players are really going to feel that, too. He has that style of, wow, Charles, I just want to go and sit down and talk life with him or talk football with him. So it's a very inviting style. And, you know, going down to Orlando, I'm, I live in Atlanta, but he lives in Orlando where the game is taped. So I go over to his house, have dinner, meet the family, and we've been able to develop a friendship, which hopefully hopefully will help with the camaraderie in the booth. Yeah, he's being really modest about it because he had the job first, and I had to audition with him, with him having already <laughs> had the job, and I really enjoyed it right from the word go, and I remember walking out of the audition and saying, I really want to work with him. I want to work with Brandon Godden, and hopefully people will hear exactly why because he's fantastic. Charles, Brandon, I can't wait to hear you guys every single time I play Madden <laughs> NFL 17. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you much well. for joining me. Get well, Coach Madden. And speaking of getting well, hopefully these PCs aren't dead because there is a whole lot of PC building still going on, except for one.